This is from chapter uh, 2 of the first book of Taoism, which is again upside down. Sorry, <laughs> oh no, it is upside down. <laughs> Tao Te Ching, this first book. This is chapter um, 2 of book 1, and it describes some of the examples of yin and yang and Tao. So it says, under heaven all can be seen beauty because there is ugliness. All can know as good as good only because there is evil. Therefore having and not having rise together. Difficult and easy complement each other. Long and short contrast each other. High and low rest upon each other. Voice and sound harmonize each other. Front and back follow one another. Therefore the sage goes about doing nothing, teaching, no talking. The 10,000 things, which is everything in the universe, rise and fall without ease. They just do their own thing. Sometimes it's easy, sometimes they're not easy. So they just rise and fall. Creating, yet not possessing. Working, yet not taking credit. Work is done, then forgotten. Therefore, it lasts forever. That's from book number one. I'll give you the same translation from other books, books number two and three. So you can see that they're very different, the way it's been translated. But in Taoism, in Tao Te Ching, they never says yin and yang, yin or yang. It implies <clears throat> a lot of uh, stuff in Tao Te Ching um, sounds like a riddle. It is, it's a riddle, but actually it's very, very subtle, and that's uh, and that's the beauty of it. Very subtle, four or five lines, and it just describes a lot of the things. So I'm going to give you more of that um, Tao Te Ching, books two and three later.